Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to kiss up this beautiful, beautiful kit of Jack Skeleton and Sally. What I love about this one is every single one of these diamonds in this kit is an AB diamond and I found this on Amazon at the time. I've had this for a few months and I've been itching to get this done. But I just bought a four tray diamond painting storage like casing and it's going to be one of the diamonds I'm going to focus on. That's what I do. I've done like four so I can focus on them while I'm on my table on that, on my desk. Um, so what I've got to kiss up, if you've never kissed it up before, I've got my scissors, I've got my funnel. I've got my tray for the extras that fall. I've got my new thing, which is release paper. Never tried this. Don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or not. I don't like the feel of it, but we're going to see what we do with it. I've also got my trays of little pots. So that's fine. I've got my stickers for the pot. And of course, the diamonds, the beautiful diamonds. I will definitely show you guys, and also a pen to write down the numbers and the. I think it's numbers and letters. Yeah, it's just numbers and letters in this one. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you guys quickly the gorgeous, gorgeous ABs. Can't get over how gorgeous they are, guys. I really can't. If you have any tips and tricks for me over the ABs, please leave them in the comments down below because I've never worked with ABs before, but I know they're a bit different than normal diamonds. So please let me know in the comments down below. So, first we've got number 10, which is this gorgeous, like, I want to say peachy. It looks peachy to me. Um pink colour. The numbers, they do have the numbers on the canvas right here for you guys in case you want the DMC codes. They do have them on there but they don't have them on the bags. Just letting you know that. But they do have the number on the this side, you know, the normal number side. So yeah. So, as I said, number 10 is this gorgeous pinky, peachy colour. And then we've got this gorgeous, like, I don't even know what colour this is. This is, like, probably, it's, it's saying it's dark green on the canvas. Oh, yeah, it, it does look a little bit like, but it looks like mermaid doesn't it? It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And then number eight is this like maroon colour. I just love these, these drills, they're just so beautiful. And then we've got a yellow, which is beautiful. I'm just trying to show you as much as I can with the shimmer and sparkle. Then I've got number six, which this is a really light grey. And then you've got a blue grey here. And then you've got three bags of black which will be the background which this will look gorgeous but it's also jack skeleton as well so it'll be really really fun to use in it and then this one is a purple then i got like a sagey green then i got a lighter blue gray color and that was the first train it did come in two trains next one is this one here of 23 which is a white and then we've got a nice i call it on valentine's day pink and then a dark gray a mint green a gorgeous lavender color i want to say that's like a coral colour 
because it's not technically red but it's not pink either but i think it might be red because it's number 18 and number 18 is Q and it's in Sally's hair. So I'm guessing it's red. Then number 17 is another dark grey. Then we got like a baby yellowy colour. Then I thought it was two the same colours, you know. That one is a light pink and this one's like a peachy colour. Then we got like a baby blue colour. Then we got an orange. And then we got another green, but it's like Christmas green, I call it. But they're mainly for like Sally's dress because she's just a colourful girl, isn't she? So, I'm just going to get started. I'm just going to cut all of the trains down to bag sizes, you know, and all that fun stuff. And then I'll just start popping them into the little jars. They do have, if you guys ever see these, they do have like perforated on them, but I would not advise you to peel them like that. I wouldn't. I'd advise you to get a pair of scissors. This is what I've learned. A pair of scissors to the dotted line and cut with the dotted line. Even though it's perforated, if you peel it, sometimes it can rip your other bag and it can make your other diamond spill and it's just a mess just a little tip for you guys if you ever if you have any tips or tricks for anybody that might be a new beginner that you've been diamond painting for quite a few years please let them know down below in the comments but don't be telling them kind of what to do type thing that won't be acceptable you know like bullying don't be acceptable on my comments in any way. So yeah, like I said, I got a new storage case which holds four diamond paintings. And I thought I'd fill it up. And kit this one up with you guys. I've moved my other two from the actual cases, you know, like travel cases into two of the drawers so i've got two spare and i've got also two more little storage cases but i'm just doing the four on my desk so we don't get overwhelmed because i might be like oh i want to do that one today oh i might do that one today so instead of like looking for them i've um pretty much just Got it in my eye view. Don't know why I was doing it so like that way, but I love trains compared to the little baggies. Pre-bagged ones are good for beginners as well if you don't have any storage. I'm going to leave all the blue um, the balls together. I'm going to call them blues. I can't wait for when that's done because that's going to look so gorgeous. I'm definitely going to frame this when I'm done with it. Definitely. So that's all the bags. So that's four, three. I always have to count these now, guys, even though they were trains. It's just because my other ones... Didn't have the numbers together. Seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, this one's already sitting at 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22 and 23. This canvas is 23 colours and it is gorgeous. It's like a um, soft, like, velvety feel to it. It's so gorgeous. And it is a 30 by 40. And the edges are, like, fancy as I call them. So, yeah. I'm just going to pop these to this. Remove the stickers. So I can write them down. And we'll just get started. So, yeah. This is my little tray. Got my little funnel. And we'll just grab the first one. I love these ones. These are more shorter than the other ones, but they do hold a lot more. So this one is going to be where I want to pick up. So number 22 is the letter U. And I've got my biro pen to write down the number or letter. So yeah. This is my favourite part. <laughs> That's the letter U. Scissors. Put the new funnel in there. And hopefully they're not staticky. You don't look it. And get every single one in there. There we go. There's not that much of that because that's for like Sally, I think. So that's the letter U. I'm just going to leave them on the side for a minute and then when I've finished kitting off, put them in the drawer. So then the next one is going to be Actually I'll put them back in because they're all going to be jumbled on them. Next one's going to be 20 which is the letter S One is number 19, which is the letter R. And it's the gorgeous purple colour. The gorgeous purple colour. I haven't done one of these in a long time, have I guys? I miss doing this. 
number 18 is the letter Q. Gorgeous red colour. The only one that's like the most colour is probably black, to be honest. Putting on my rubbish on the side. Next one is going to be number 16, which is K. I do apologise if you really like it being in order. Uh, I just pick random bags and hope for the best. And I'll just pop that on the lid and then add it. This one we've got quite a lot of it, but I think this is for the moon in the background. Which that's gonna look stunning, isn't it guys? Let me know in the comments down below if you ever used A B drills. Probably literally like everybody has who does diamond painting. I've never used A B drills, so if you let me know any tips and tricks down in the comments below let me know because like i said i've never used them and i know you need to use kind of different techniques with them compared to normal um diamonds this one's 17 and it's the letter n I'm just trying to look on these, see if I can find them, that's the end for the cards. Oh yeah, it'd be like in amongst the cards. Oh, they went a bit crazy then, didn't they? Didn't use the funnel. Oh, there's always a spillage, isn't there? Always a spillage. I had the tray there and it still manages to get out. I love this colour. Saved it. Absolutely saved it. I love it. It's like a mermaid colour. Absolutely love that. That's our N. Goes on the lid. Number 15 is J. Do you guys like these type of videos or do you prefer like the diamond chats or do you prefer like colour and chat? Just let me know like what type of videos you actually like on the channel and I'll make it happen. I like making these videos because I like it enough a lot. I like being organised, that's one of my favourite things in real life that I like doing, is being very organised. And kitting up and all that is like really organised and, and very satisfying. Please, 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 all fit in please. Oh, you did? How nice is that? Oh, I've got one. One left in the tunnel. There you go. Got it. I'm going to cut a couple up now. Just because, like, it's starting to, like, be hard to try and put them back in. So then, number 12 is F. I'm currently working on a custom 
I'm painting that I was meant to gift as a Christmas present, but it's okay because the person that I'm gifting it to, they're okay with it being a bit late. So, so that should be done this month. That's what I'm hoping for. Gorgeous orange though. Next one will be thirteen, which is G. See, I'm picking these up in order without even knowing I'm picking them up in order. <laughs> I always have a little problem with the um, number thirteen, don't I? If you guys have been watching these kids up videos from the beginning, you know why I said it like that. I love this colour. This colour is stunning. Oh, so happy there's only a little bit of that. So happy. That would have been a mess and a half to clean up, wouldn't it? The next one is number 11, which is a D. Sorry about my squeaky chair if you guys can hear it. Usually I'm messier than that. This just reminds me of Christmas this colour. Anyone else? Oh my goodness, why isn't it not let me? Thank you. The next one is number 23 which is the letter V I should have pre stippled these but it's okay because you guys enjoy watching this don't you hopefully <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy watching this oh there's me funny it wasn't This will be perfect if I get this completed this month because Valentine's Day is around the corner, isn't it? And it was so cute. This is definitely going on my wall when I'm done with it. Love it. Number 10 is 6. Next 
next one is number nine, which is A. These colours are stunning because of the AB iridescent stuff. Number 14 is H. And this is the first time I am doing a train on my kit up because all my kit ups I have done the baggies. So it has went a bit faster. But this is quite quick to be honest for the kit up. I am trying to do it between like 30 to 40 minutes. So number six is number six. I don't try and speed up anything or edit or anything for you guys so you can see it in real time. Don't know why that's stuck to my finger, but not weird. Next one is number 21, which is T. made it this far into the video comment down below something that you are grateful for because i'm grateful for all you guys supporting my channel and loving me and just really cheering me up every single day number eight is number eight I love number eight colour. I've also misplaced my scissors then. I'm nearly done now. I've got, I think, a couple more colours and then I'm done with kitting up the diamonds and then I'll just be putting my release paper on the actual painting and then we should be done. Number seven is number seven. <laughs>
think I might have so many yellows, but then there's like a moon there, doesn't it? I'm just so used to looking at them too. And the background, thinking the background's going to be gorgeous when it's sun. Absolutely stunning. Reason why I'm taking a couple off, it's easy to get them out. So number two is a number two. I know you guys are probably thinking, obviously number two is number two. Some kits, budget friendly ones. They do change the numbers from like, let's say like number six can be like number nine or something. It's so confusing. Luckily for me, I haven't had a time painting like that yet. But I've seen it. I've seen people have dime paintings like that and the people that do dime paintings like that, you guys are amazing. Because I don't think my head could actually control it. Like what like, like what the hell? What's going on? The next one is number one, which is number one. in this place my little number one though. No. Almost finished now guys. It's a little bit longer video today. But I have uploaded an hour long video so before today so I'm gonna say about four more pots. Five more, sorry, five more parts to do it. So we're gonna take out five more. And then we're gonna leave number four to the last because obviously this. So number three is number three. Who would have known? <laughs> Like nothing of it. It's not my favourite. <laughs> Literally looks empty, doesn't it? <laughs> Hopefully, I have enough for that. Number five is the last single bag, which is number five. And I don't know how many going to be number four because it's three bags i'm hoping each bag is one part but who knows who knows As you all would know, it's number four. I'm just hoping that one bag will be one pot. I've got plenty of pots for them, but I'm just hoping. I'm just gonna make number four three times because I've got three pots out. Now, the moment of truth this would all go south. <laughs> Oh my god. 
goodness, yes. It does. It literally is one pot. These are bigger. These are bigger than the other ones. I'm so excited and happy about that. I might have got the empty about but myself, I don't know. I'm really happy about that. I just guessed that because there was three bags. And yes, I do bottle every bag. I know, I'm crazy. You know. So there's another number four. I don't know, some people um, put the bags, spare bags, in a little wallet or something, like on the side or in a box or something. For me, I find it easier if they're all there. Sorry if this video is a bit too long for you guys. Please, 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 please. You know me, I really want this. Oh, I'm so excited about them. These are awesome. These are actually amazing. Like, amazing, you guys. Highly recommend these. They're on Amazon and you type in diamond storage case or some diamond paint and storage case or something, and it's the one with the four four trays. There's also one that has three, in case you guys have, like a little storage. But I thought bigger storage the better, and I'm so happy about these. Because they looked a little shorter than the other ones, so I thought, oh, they're not going to hold as much. Oh, they hold way more. I think it's because they're more fatter, like they're more wider. So they're shorter, but like more wider. Right, so they're done. That only took me like literally 15, 40 minutes. <laughs> Remove my bags over there with my rubbishes, and then I'm just gonna move my tray and my thing. I'm just gonna keep that out because I'm gonna mark that up with what it is. I'm gonna take this off, I think, and use the release paper. Both sides like waxy, so I'm, I'm gonna guess that both sides okay. There's no instructions or nothing. I found these on Amazon as well. I'm just gonna run the whiskey guys. Oh, uh, goodness. I've never took a whole lot of, of anything in my whole life. Well, apart from when I first started. Don't fold over now. So, no going back, no, no going back. No going back out. Don't know why that's like stuck up there, but it has. Now, see, they're both like shiny sides, so I'm guessing. God, um, don't know. I'm gonna do this. Cover it up, like, like that. Never used these in my life. This is my first time and I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold it over the top of that, like lap it over. So I definitely know like it's covered. I'm hoping it doesn't stick. <laughs> As if these work guys, I'm gonna keep using these from now on. I'm just gonna triple check. Guys, they do to come off. Oh my goodness, they are like they are actually amazing. I'm not even joking with you guys. I've kind of messed up there, but I'll fix that off camera. I'm guessing my section was a bit wide because <laughs> this is like the right sections. That's a lot easier than using washi tape. You guys just witness someone's face. 
Oh, that's so cool. And then if you'd wanna, oh, it's a... I'm so happy well done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kit up. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook group page, and also give my TikTok a little bit of love. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.